Hello, I'm Scribs, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Sketchings pencil set that ArtX has come out with recently. Um, this It has beautiful packaging, comes with 14 different types of lead, and um, it was only, I think, 8 or $9 that I got it on Amazon, so um, let's get into the review. I tested all the pencils first in my Strathmore Mixed Media sketchbook. I sharpened them all and it was like really easy to sharpen. I didn't have any difficulties. Now the lead felt weird when I went it down, when like when I pressed it down. Um, the softer lead was obviously buttery smooth and the harder lead had a nice resistance but it didn't feel uncomfortable to use for those who may have sensory issues. Sometimes I have some sensory issues but it felt pretty good. So today I wanted to do some illustrations relating to the summer because um, it is now summer. The summer solstice, it's officially like break and everything for schools and I was like that's what I should draw. So I decided to draw um, one thing was a drawing of Kyle. This drawing was not like my most accurate or my best work but it was a drawing nonetheless now i started off with the f pencil and then the 8b pencil for outlines later on i used the 3b and then the b pencil to darken up some of the lines i made and in the end i go over with the fixative but basically i really like this pencil set i think it'd be it's a good like price point because if like there's 14 pieces and the whole thing costs eight dollars that means that um you're paying for about like 50 cents around 50 to 60 cents per pencil which is not bad um and usually the thing is i haven't used graphite in so long and i usually don't because of the smudging and everything and I mainly bought this for the pretty packaging and for the colorful like um, bodies that these pencils have. But I got to say, I don't regret the purchase. I think that when I go to draw with le um, graphite in the sketchbook, I might be more inclined to use these. Um, to use these. Um, in terms of how erasable they are with the eraser that I used, um, both of them, I used like I think, uh, mm, what's that? Uni Mitsubishi eraser or something, mono something. Um, and I use this, like, the ones that you just get to put on the back of a pencil if they don't have any more eraser. And yeah, they both worked pretty well. You know, obviously the softer lead is harder to, uh, harder to erase, but that's why I used it more for outlines, like as if it was line art. Um, uh, the second illustration that I do is more is my two characters Chloe and Vincent and they're just eating popsicles together and posing in bikinis and so yeah I just wanted to try this reference photo from um, Pinterest for this first drawing and then one from my imagination. Uh, I realized at the beginning of every video I don't like introduce myself or talk about myself like sometimes people do a little blur blurb like Kenny JD and a few other people. But I just say, hey, it's Scribs, and then like that's it. I go into it. I don't even say like I'm a 21 year old artist who's really obsessed with character illustration and um, and dabbles a bit in animation or anything. I don't know, but yeah, and loves to eat food. <laughs> I love to eat some food. Let me tell you that I um, just ordered food and I shouldn't have, but I'm really hungry, and yeah. Uh, I want I wanted to skate tomorrow, but it looks like it is going not only is it going to rain It's going to thunderstorm. So it's definitely not the time to be roller skating. Uh, the thunderstorms here Are crazy usually I feel like we always have like we're always erring on the side of a flood and when when it's like a serious thunderstorm and um, They're usually pretty long like a sporadic rain that happens in the summer it's so annoying, but it's not like Florida. Like when I went to Florida, it was just raining on and off, every, like basically the whole time I was there. Like I was in Disneyland, 
sorry, Disney World, and it was like raining, so we went inside, and then as soon as we came back out, it stopped raining. <laughs> and it's like, no, it would have still been raining if it was here where I live. Um, but yeah. Uh, the second drawing, we're getting into it. I think I was being trying to be more careful with my strokes and everything. Make them have purpose. I don't know if that was coming across or anything. Um, I haven't done studies in a long time. I was also supposed to be making a different video this week. But I went with this one instead. And yeah. The next video that I teased um, in the community tab, it is still meant to come. It will definitely take some more time and some more planning. I feel like very tired today. I don't know. I didn't do much, but I'm just very drained. So I um, am totally hoping that I can record that other video and then like take a little break and because like I'll be a week ahead or something. I want to get back to that space. I think that it's just been like weird stress, but also like I've been having a lot of happy moments too, which is great. And I'm drawing a lot more. I still have to finish this one comic page. You can see that comic page up on my Patreon. I think I'll publish it there first. And then I'll probably post, um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to just do random like comics and post it on like the Tapas or Webtoons, Tapasic or Webtoons or whatever but i don't think i can post the full thing here and have like the ratio shown and everything just because of how the youtube community tab works yeah for now i think that i am going to try to like work and film that video as quickly but thoroughly as possible because when i film like bigger tutorials it usually like I usually want to put more effort into it and so it takes like just a little bit more time but then um yeah Before this video ends, I just wanted to talk about ways to support me in my art and help keep me going. You can become a Patreon or um, you can go to my Ko-fi. Uh, my Ko-fi is my, the same name here and you can donate something to me. That would really help a lot, help, me keep, help keep me going and um, be able to make this my career. I am kind of in a good and bad place with my art because I don't know how much I like my line art anymore. Um, which I, I took, it took me so long to figure out how to like my art, line art. And then I figured it out by creating my own brushes. Fell out of love with the brush. Fell in love with another brush. And now I'm on the fence with that brush. So it's like, ah. Uh, and then like, di traditionally, I think I want to line with colored pencils. Which is something that I should try. And have like a video about that too. Um, but we're going to be hitting 100 videos soon. And I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who has subscribed, liked, comment and been along the way with me um as i continue to make my youtube videos have fun watching the rest of the uh, drawing and yes i do recommend these i wouldn't say there's like a downside to them they're like pretty fine pencils and um yeah thank you so much love you bye <laughs>